2014 BC Calculus free response question number five. You can read the stem of the question. You've got that shaded region and in part A, you're supposed to find that area. So we want to integrate from uh, X is zero to one of the top curve minus the bottom curve. So that would be the top curve is X E to the X squared minus the bottom curve, which is um, negative 2x, so minus the negative is plus 2x, and we're integrating in x. Let's see, so we got a bit of a u substitution idea here. So if I let u equal x squared, then du is 2x dx. So we're going to have that extra factor of 2 to deal with. If you want to change your limits of integration, notice that when x is 0, u is also 0, and when x is 1, u is also 1, so they're going to be the same. So let's see, we've got a 1 half integral from 0 to 1 of e to the u, if I separate these out, plus the integral, sorry, du, from 0 to 1 of 2x dx. So this gives me 1 half e to the u from 0 to 1. This gives me x squared from 0 to 1. So that would be 1 half times e to the first minus, now the 0 is not going to give you 0, minus 1 half e to the 0 plus, this is just 1 squared minus 0. So let's see what we got. We got 1 half e minus 1 half plus 1. Yeah, you can combine them minus a half plus one to be a half, but I strongly suggest you don't simplify anything that's down to arithmetic. And this portion is worth three points. You would get one point for your integrand. You would get one point for your antiderivative. So, here, and then you would get one point for your answer. Part B, right, but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the volume of the solid generated when R is rotated about the horizontal line Y equals negative two. Let's see, so when X is one with this equation, Y is negative two, so we're rotating around this line. When you're doing solids of revolution in calculus on the AP exam, they can all be done as washers. Um, if there's something that you find easier to do with shells, then you can do that, but they'll all be designed so that they can be done with washers. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to take a look at my outer radius to here and then inner radius to here. So for my outer, if I calculate what that area would actually be, pi times r squared, that outer radius would be top minus bottom. So that would be the curve here minus negative two, so plus two. So x times e to the x squared plus two, and that's r squared. And for the inner radius, that area would be pi times its radius would be the line uh, plus two. So that would be negative two x plus two, and then that is squared. And we have to write the integral. I always pull my pi out in front. We're integrating from our smallest to our biggest x, so from 0 to 1. And then outer x, e to the x squared plus 2 quantity squared minus the inner negative 2x plus 2 quantity squared dx. And that's all you want to do on that. This part is worth
three points. You get two points for your integrand. Now, please remember that you have to do the outer squared minus the inner squared. You can't do outer minus inner and then square the whole thing. So if you write your integrand properly, then that's two of your points. And then uh, one point for the scoring guide says limits and constant. So obviously these are your limits of integration. The constant, I believe that uh, that is implying taking into account that you have this plus two. So I think they may give you credit for the integrand set up properly if you forgot to subtract the negative two from that. So two points for the integrand and a point for the limits and the constant. And then finally in part C, we are to write but not evaluate an expression involving one or more integrals that gives the perimeter of R. So up until this point, the topics that we were doing were things that we could handle with AB. But we want the distance around. So don't make this anything more difficult than it has to be. So from here to here, you can find the length of that line. From here to here, you can find the length of that line. But then up here, you're going to have to do an arc length to figure out that curve. OK, so let's break that up. So for the, um, let's say for, for this line, think about this triangle. I know that this is 1. I know clearly not drawn to scale since this line is y equals negative 2x. If I put in a 1, this is a negative 2, so that is 2 units long. So Pythagorean theorem, um, you're going to get root of 5 for how long that part is. Now this green line right here, it's two at the bottom, and then at the top, that equation is x e to the x squared. So when x is one, you get one times e to the first. So this part is e, that bottom part is two, so the whole thing is e plus two units long. And then we have the curve. So we need to do arc length. So if you recall, we're going to need to do an integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of 1 plus uh, the y prime, or dy dx squared dx. So let's see, um, here's my y. So y prime is first times derivative of second, which is e to the x squared times 2x plus second e to the x squared times derivative of first. So if I simplify that a little bit, let's see, they both have e to the x squared. So e to the x squared times 2x squared plus 1. So I'm going to scroll down so that I have a little space to write this actual answer. So for part C for this, um, this arc length part, We're going to have an integral from 0 to 1, square root 1, plus that derivative expression I had written above, e to the x squared times 2x squared plus 1, quantity squared dx. All right, so let's pull it all together for our last little statement here. The perimeter would be the lines, so the root of 5 plus the e plus 2 plus 
this integral above 0 to 1 root 1 plus the e to the x squared times 2x squared plus 1 quantity squared, that is a square dx. Scoring for that part, it's worth three points as well. One point for finding this derivative accurately. One point for your integral. And then one point for your answer, which would be that you included this point, this part as well.